Do you want to increase the watch time for the videos you're publishing on YouTube? Antscreens encourage viewers to take action and extends the watch time on your YouTube videos. The problem with the end screen templates that YouTube provides is that it doesn't include calls to action, so it's not obvious to viewers what to do. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom end screen template using Canva that includes several calls to action. Hello, my name is Herman Dross from DrossDesigns.com. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button, then click the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Here's an example of a video displaying one of the generic end screens that YouTube provides. Here's an example of a custom end screen template I created that includes several calls to action. Here's how to create a customized end screen template using Canva. Go to canva.com, click use custom dimensions. You're gonna use 1920 by 1080. Click design. Now you can upload a template I created by downloading the template in the description below this video. So I'm going to click Uploads. Okay, here's the generic one that I created. I'm going to open that. Okay, it's uploaded here, so I'm going to bring it in. The whole area is 1920 by 1080 pixels. The area for the end screen elements go in here. This is what uh, YouTube will provide. To create the template, click on uh, Transparency. Move the transparency to the left a little bit. Then you can add your own background. So say, for instance, I want to put a blue background in there. Then I can add some elements, subscribe link in there. So you just put subscribe, subscribe here. Maybe I'll change the font. I'll select Nuestra for this one. So I'll move this uh, just outside the elements here. And then I'll change the color. Click on the color up top here. Change it to white. And let me just check how that looks. So I'll move that transparency all the way to the left. So I've got subscribe here. Maybe I'll change the color again, or black. So I've got uh, subscribe here. Then maybe I'll add uh, a couple of arrows. So I'll just bring this arrow in here. And maneuver it around a little bit. Shrink it a bit. It's not gonna be perfect for this demonstration, but you get, you get the idea. Then I'll just, uh, Go up here to copy it, move over here, and then I can also go to flip, flip horizontally, and then just maneuver it again over here. So this will be for the uh, subscribe profile icon that goes in here. Then maybe down the bottom, check out the videos or thanks for watching. So I can just uh, highlight this and then click copy. Bring this down here. And a video playlist will be here, another video playlist here. So that's kind of a very basic template, but you can also do shapes. You've got shape elements here. For instance, you can do a, get a shape here, expand the shape. Or you could also uh, flip it. But, oh, okay, didn't spell that right. I'll save it as a JPEG and download it. So I'll bring it in the timeline here, my video editing software, and I can expand it. So I expand the image for the last 20 seconds. So I've got a video clip here that asks people to subscribe and check out the related videos. So I'll shrink that so it fits into my template. And then I've got another one of me and a fishing boat. Put that there. So I'm gonna process this video and upload it to YouTube so you can see how it looks. Okay, here's my video. I'm gonna click edit video. Click end screen annotations. Then I'm gonna click use template. I wanna use a template that has one subscribe and two videos or two playlists. Should look like about the one that I want. Select. So I can move this here to the subscribe here. Maybe video playlist right here. And then the video playlist right here. So I'll make sure that it's above thanks for watching. So I can move it a little bit higher maybe align it a little bit better. So we've got our subscribe element here. Then we've got the choose video playlist. So we'll select this one for now. Then we'll select uh, best for viewer. Click save. Maybe we'll put, switch that one over there to best for viewer uh, coming first. And then the other one coming after that. It says please add space between the elements. So I've got to move this one down a little bit. So I've got the subscribe here. This is my subscribe graphic. So if somebody hovers over that, they'll see uh, 
the big red subscribe button to click on. And if they hover over these then, or click on these, then they'll go to that particular video or playlist. And that's about it. Check the main video. As you can see, I've got the subscribe button and a related video and playlist. If you don't want to spend time creating your own custom end screen, then check out Outro Maker. You can easily create animated end screens for YouTube videos and also mobile friendly cards with one click. You can try it for seven days with no credit card. Here are a few examples of the different end screens you can create with Outro Maker. There's the second one. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. I kind of like that one. I'll include a link to Outro Maker in the description below this video. Here are five important things to keep in mind when creating a YouTube end screen. The YouTube end screen is also called an end card, end slate, or outro. Number one, reinforce your calls to action by telling viewers what to do, such as clicking on the subscribe button or checking out the next video. Number two, try different calls to action in your end screen elements to see which one gets the most clicks. Visit YouTube analytics to track the performance of your end screens. Number three, tease viewers at the beginning what to expect at the end of your video. For example, you could say, make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can download my cheat sheet on how to generate revenue from a YouTube channel. Number four, download my end screen template by clicking on the link in the description below this video. You can use a template to create your own custom end screen template using Canva. If you want to save time and don't want to bother with figuring out how to create your own custom end screen, then use a service like Ultramaker. I'll include a link to the service in the description below this video. Oh my gosh, I didn't tell you the exact steps how to create an end screen. Don't worry, just click the card icon to watch my video on how to create an end screen on YouTube. You'll receive step-by-step -step instructions how to create one. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, click the subscribe button below. Make sure you also check out the related videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.